you know, the amount of cringe that you're about to watch makes you want to glue your teeth together. Just, you just want to give out this permanent disgust. You know, like something like this. This is my fucking reaction to something as incredibly fucking stupid as this. Fucking Christ, four seconds in and I already want to punch a tiger in a nutsack. I don't understand what's the point of this intro anyway. What, are, are these people supposed to represent, you know, being normal or something like that? Am I missing something? Hi y'all, I'm Parker and I use they them their pronouns and I really like cats a lot. <laughs> Hi, my name's Andrea. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. Um, I like blue. I like pink. I like sugar spice and everything. <laughs> nice. God, this is sort of th th this retardation is on par with that of a kindergartner. What sort of person is gonna be like, "Hey, my name is Sally. I enjoy coloring." I mean, I don't give a fine fuck on what you like. It's not like we're gonna become friends in any way. I mean, this, this sort of introduction is only on par with someone who is mentally degenerate. Who is mentally unstable. Hi, I'm Day, and I use they, them pronouns. Um, some things that I like, I really like video games, um, watching movies, because they're awesome. So, your name is Day, and your pronouns is they and theirs. Is there a planet called they as well? Because, you know, I have never heard of someone calling themselves they. Pronouns are words that refer to a person. Um, common pronouns are he, she, and they. They is hardly used as a singular pronoun. It's usually used as a plural. And the only time someone would use they is to basically identify someone whose gender is unknown. She is typically used by those who identify as female, and he is typically used by those who identify as male. But some people who use the pronoun she do not identify as female, and some that use he do not identify as male. So it doesn't really matter if you're like the world's most masculine man in the world. If you want to use female pronouns, then you have the right to do so. The fuck? It just depends on the person. That's why you should say she, her, and he, him rather than male or female pronouns when telling other people your pronouns. Basically what you're doing is trying to make things a little bit more complex in order to even have a goddamn conversation. Like we shouldn't even have to have a conversation about this in the first place. Just, you know, greet one another. And that's it. You know, don't bother going around saying, you know, I, you know, I go by with, um, they pronouns. So, you know, don't fucking judge me. Because if you use any other pronoun other than my own, then you're transphobic. You're a bigot. In the English language, there are also pronouns that aren't gendered at all. Common gender neutral pronouns are they, Z, and A. <coughs> oh god. What did you guys made me do? You made me throw up on my own You threw up my own blood! remember from oh geez I don't know English class uh, Z and A are not gender neutral pronouns there are pronouns that you someone who is you know this special little snowflake
Like, you've created these pronouns in order to fit your agenda. In order for society to bend over backwards for you. These are not real gender neutral pronouns. Especially in the English dictionary. Imagine trying to start a conversation, but instead of using he or she, you replace the word with Z and A. Like, it sounds like you have some sort of a mental handicap. Like, you can't say words properly. Like, for example, um, A went that way. Z went this way. It, it, it makes no fucking sense. You can conjugate these pronouns just like you would for he and she. You could, but then you would sound like someone who's mentally handicapped. Pronouns are important because they show that you validate someone's identity, that you respect who they are, and that you respect how they wish to be referred to. A total stranger, they don't really give a flying fuck of what your pronouns are. No one should tell you how to refer to yourself, no matter how people think you should identify. Okay, you can identify as whatever the fuck you want, but don't expect people to be accepting towards it. This is why you should always ask somebody what their pronouns are in a safe space. I just couldn't resist. I had to put that there. But what you're essentially saying is that if we're going to have a conversation with you, we have to play by your rules. So you know how they identify. Because no one should tell you how to refer to yourself, because it's you. No matter how society thinks you should identify. When I'm misgendered, it sort of takes me back to a place that I don't ever want to be anymore. Um, it puts me in the past where I wasn't able to be myself, I wasn't able to be out to my family or my friends. It's almost as if you have PTSD. Oh wait, no, 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 no. you don't have PTSD. You have special snowflake syndrome. It's, it's seriously. Like how the fuck does misgendering you refer you back to the time when you couldn't be yourself? For fuck's sakes. It feels like Brussels sprouts taste. It feels like someone is stepping over my identity and not respecting who I am and like they don't value who I am. God, you're so unbelievably fucking fragile. Apparently, according to you, being... <clears throat> being misgendered is pretty much the exact same thing as a child being bullied. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is incredibly fucking stupid. It really does not feel that good when somebody misgenders me, um, because it's just, it's... One, you make an assumption about me that isn't even remotely accurate, and it kind of makes me feel like I'm not important enough as a human being for you to just be like, Hey, you know, I won't even use pronouns because I don't know and I don't have the time to ask. Assumptions can be proven wrong. It, why the fuck do you care on what people assume that you are? These people are fucking strangers, and that's it. Why the fuck do you must be so goddamn over-fucking-dramatic over something as simple as your fucking pronouns? You know, there are people out there who assume that I'm nothing more than a fucking pedophile. I don't really give a flying fuck if they think of me as a, a fucking pedophile because I know it's not fucking true. I don't, you know... Go on fucking YouTube and rant about this shit. No. I basically just let it go and live on my fucking life. Perhaps maybe you should do the exact same thing and just not fucking care on what strangers think of you. Um, it feels bad. Sometimes it makes me feel unsafe because it's hard to 
make a difference between who's saying it because of how you look or if they're saying it to be mean. Your life is pretty much in danger if someone misgenders you. You know, you, you feel like you're about to be under attack by some goddamn uh, transphobic werewolf. Sometimes you will mess up, and though it's not okay, it does happen sometimes. So, what you're essentially saying is that making mistakes is not acceptable! my system mistakes are not okay when you're misgendering someone but it does fucking happen I could not make this shit up even if I wanted to people make mistakes all the fucking time to penalize someone for making a goddamn mistake Just make sure to apologize, use their correct pronouns, and move on. There's no need to make a big deal about it. Neither of us want that. Only ones who throw a goddamn hissy fit are those who want to be referred as their respected pronouns, such as they, z, and a. But you know what? It's a, you know, logical conclusion. Just move on. Re Apologize and move on. But if you expect me to use pronouns as Z and A, I don't want to do, I want nothing to do with you. I'm gonna just treat you as someone who is mentally degenerate. You belong in the Special Olympics. Congratulations. It'll make both of us uncomfortable. Try to, you know, make at least somewhat of an effort. Don't make me feel like crap because you don't feel like it's that important. It's really not that important. Not for me and not for like, I'll say 90% of the world. Um, if someone was to misgender me by mistake, I would just kindly correct it and keep on going. He loves nachos. He makes really good mashed potatoes. His favorite drink is grape soda. They are going to the movies. Everybody loves them because they do. It sounds utterly ridiculous when you're trying to put it in a, in, 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 in a goddamn sentence. Seriously, the word they is used as a plural, not singular. There are very few exceptions. But what you're essentially saying is that there are more than two fucking people to someone who is a complete fucking stranger. What you're saying sounds more plural than singular. <sighs> and don't touch that, that's theirs. She likes to shop at Guess, her favorite store is Guess, and everything in Guess is hers. It feels so good. I kind of want to just like high five, give him a hug. Um, but depending on where we are, that's kind of like weird and creepy. Boy, do I get a cookie for referring to you to your imaginary pronoun? I feel like they value me and they care about me being around. 
I feel like I can express myself and be free around them and that I'll be respected either way. A total stranger acknowledge my pronouns! Oh, it feels so good! Oh, 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 oh yes! Oh, 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 oh. It feels right and it makes me happy and it makes me feel normal. You know, the funny thing is, is that if you look like a dude, they're gonna call you dude, and if you look like a chick, well, they're gonna call you a chick. And, you know, I would probably never be able to guess that you are transgender based on your looks. I'm not a fucking magician. But, you know, then again, you reduce gender into something that's just, you know, just slap a stick on it and be like, yeah, this is what I like. You know, I prefer if you, you know, call me by these imaginary gender pronouns and shit. Fuck. That's the end of the video. And you know, I wish I could find these guys' uh, Facebook accounts. You know, maybe I'll show them this video. You know, me losing my fucking mind. Sorry you guys have to see that, but it really pisses me the fuck off. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer and keep gaming on.